What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nutty Foodie Fitness here. Welcome to the Spain vlogs. Just that we're not in Spain. Woo! Basically the day before I was meant to fly, I cancelled my flight. The weather is shocking in Spain and it was just not worth going to Spain precisely for the warm weather just to be met with worse weather than the UK. Colder, rainier, it just wasn't... Wasn't it like the most rain they've had in... Yeah, in years. In years. So, we're here instead. <laughs> to brighten the mood, I want to try these pre-made protein pancakes for my protein. They have just come out. That basically, they sent me normal ones and they also sent me chocolate ones. So, this is what they're looking like. And you heat them for four minutes. Grant is doing an absolute madness this weekend and so it worked out really well that he would be doing that madness and I would be in Spain but obviously the plans aren't planning but Grant should I tell them what you are about to do? Yeah. Tell them. <laughs> He's leaving in about two hours? About two hours. Grant is cycling from London to Paris. I just fancy a baguette. <laughs> so in total it's about what 300? 350k yeah but I'm doing it over, over three days. And there is a ferry involved, I'm not swimming the channel. But you said, to me, you said to me, nah, you're not really cycling then, are you? But before they attack me in the comments for me not doing it with you... Oh yeah, I, I didn't, <laughs> Grant didn't want me to do it with him. Yeah. Abstract is the theme. A little bit of peanut butter. Wow. Yeah, it just came to life, didn't it? I've just been gone for like two minutes. <laughs> Tiny little dollop of PB. That's like, you know, when, when chefs roll the butter. I yeah. Why they call it into one of those things. <laughs> right, let's see. They're very good. They're like fluffy, not too dense. Do they taste protein? No. And it's like so easy to just heat that up. I'll give them an eight. From my small sample, I would say they are, yeah, I'd say an eight. As you can see, I'm in charge of making sure Guam is going to be nicely fueled up. Literally got all the nutrition stashes. I'm just laying things out for Grant to choose. He can decide what he wants to take. But more is more in these kind of situations. All of his life basically packed up on this bike. All the gear. All the gear. Minimal idea. Those trusty aero bars are on here. Yep. He's ready. Ready to roll. Oh. Do you know I've got jelly legs for you? I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just going for a bike ride. <laughs> I know, but oh. <laughs> I don't like it being the other way around. It's you know, really. like. Yeah, but mine's not race. It's gonna be lovely. Yeah, it's gonna be great, and you're gonna be great. You're gonna do great. It's gonna be amazing. Steph gave me these sick glasses, so I feel like I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go like a hundred times faster. Well, I was also gonna use my aero bars, which haven't been used since I did the Ironman, yep. so. Also, brand new wrapper. So I reckon I'm gonna go extra speed, extra fast again. Yeah. So glasses, this, the aero bars. Guys, wish him luck. I'm also gonna leave in the description box below. Doing it for fun, but I thought I might as well raise some money. So National Autistic Association, instead of buying me a pint, just give me a <laughs> couple of quid. Oh my god, he's just left. He forgot his helmet. I've given him his helmet. I hope he has everything. I feel really nervous for him. I know he'll be fine, but also cycling to Paris is a lot. I feel way more nervous for him cycling to Paris than when I did my Ironman. It's fine. He'll be fine. It's just, you know, the only thing that worries me is that like you can't control drivers and other people. I feel like once I know that he's like got going and he's got all this stuff because there's like a lot of things to take, I feel like my heart can't cope. If I end up uploading this, he'll watch this and he'll be like, Steph, why are you so dramatic? Plan is to vlog just so that I don't lose my mind today. And also, my best friend is currently running an epic relay race in LA and... I don't know, I'm like nervous, excited and very happy for them both, but I'm also just very like, there's a lot going on and I don't know if I can cope. <laughs> mm. Peanut butter is scientifically proven to calm nerves. I'm 
going to just put some active wear on. <laughs> it is very windy, so I'm going to need this. I'm just thinking a nice, relaxed, easy run will calm the nerves. Right, I know I need to just get a little grip. <laughs> I just don't feel okay, if I'm honest. How do I feel? Not okay. So shame I don't have any other training today to do to kind of distract me. If you ever wondered if Whoop is really that accurate, please just witness this, right? I never ever enter medium stress zone ever. Look at my stress. <laughs> this is whilst Grant was getting ready. <laughs> Stressful times. 99% of the time I am in the low. This is pretty high for me. <laughs> for comparison purposes, 0 0.3 on Sunday. 0 0.3 on Monday, 0 0.5. I can confirm I am feeling a lot better after that run. I think my heart rate was more chilled on that run than it has been all morning. 135 beats per minute. I am showered. Just received a new little Gymshark package. I'm excited by this collection because it's called Gains. I'm too hungry to go through things, but I am gonna put this oversized jumper on. Strength and conditioning oversized sweatshirt. And I've got this in a size small. There was no need to go for a medium or a large, which I sometimes do with jumpers because it's already oversized. I didn't go for a bigger size. What do we think? Does it have anything on the back? Should have probably looked before I put this on. I guess this is what I will now be living in for the foreseeable. What are we gonna have for lunch? There's nothing that exciting going on right now. I know what I'm gonna have. Chop up some onion. I've got some Richmond very basic sausages. There's 12. There's one of me. So that means I'll do all 12. Do you know, I'm really fancying a baguette. That's because of Grant cycling to Paris that I'm now fancying a baguette. But instead I'm just gonna make a bog standard sandwich. Sandwich. Also one like in this video equates to one power up for Grant. So the more likes we get, the more we're gonna power Grant through to Paris. Please and thank you so much. We are clearly not going gourmet at all today. Five sausages laying in the bed. I'm gonna operate on them and butterfly them. Fried onion on top. I do also have mustard, but I think I'm gonna go without. Bosh. Cheers. I mean, I am instantly regretting not bothering to walk to the shop to get a baguette. We live and we learn. Standard combo. Code nutty, by the way, to save. Guys, I cannot say I've done a lot. <laughs> In fact, I've done nothing since I last spoke to you guys, apart from have another sausage sandwich, which I added mustard to, if you wondered. I'm gonna make some food. Gran is not giving me any updates. Honestly, I wish he was like on a lad's weekend. A stag do. <laughs> I will stop talking about Gran in this video. I got these massive wraps thinking I can just do like one huge burrito, but I know my problem will be, I'll stuff it so much that I'll be unable to like roll it. I'm gonna do beef burritos. Grant isn't too keen, so I thought I'd take advantage. You know, I found the one pro to Grant not being here is that I can have burritos for dinner. I've got avocado, I've got cheese, I've also got Red kidney beans, I couldn't find black beans. I'm also gonna use this Korean seasoning in the beef. Got some tzatziki, tzatziki. I've got some of that. Let's do it. bigger the exact same size, size as this plate focus on the task i'm gonna prepare this as if i worked at 
insert your favourite burrito place. Personally, I love Chipotle. Chipotle! see a huge problem there. Now, how are we going to wrap this? Look how much I've piled this up. What am I thinking? I knew this would happen. Let's try. Add your praying emojis. Just like, do that a little bit. Um, I'm going, yeah, we're going that way. Oh no. This is way, way too full. She says as if she didn't know. You know, this is the point where you do a double turn, but you can't because it's that full. No, it's literally that full. They're going straight back in. I seriously need a bigger plate because look. Wise, I'm happy with that. It's just how we eat it. Not sure. This is absolutely sensational. Messiest thing I've ever made in my entire life, but every bite tastes like heaven. There is so much flavor. So the beef is pretty spicy. I did use a Korean seasoning. It has a massive kick to it. The tatsiki is cooling it down. Sweet chili jam is coming through. The cheese, oh my God. This is definitely not one to eat on a first date, nor is it a good dish to eat on YouTube. My camera's about to die. I don't know if that's a good thing, given I'm about to approach. Mm. I nailed it. This is what I'm talking about. I really should make foodie YouTube videos for a living. I think it's my calling. God's calling me. It's been so nice. Do you know what I really enjoy? What? Riding in the dark through the country lanes. I've done uh, 94.46. Now you can chill until the ferry. Okay, I'm going to eat some M&Ms. Go and get some food, will you? Go to the pub. Adios, mi amor. Good luck, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby, I can chill now. Grant is all good. He's loving it. And we're gonna have some dessert now. I got these white chocolate. I think it's a yogurt. That doesn't look like it's gonna be white chocolate, but a bit disappointing. I'm gonna pimp up the experience with strawberries and peanut M&Ms. It doesn't really taste that much like white chocolate. It also definitely needs a bit of peanut butter. I'm probably gonna sign off for now. I'm gonna catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big day. We'll talk about it tomorrow. The larger an M&M is, the better it tastes. Blues are my favorite. Anyway, it is five o'clock in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, this is reassuring. Given I was up literally every single hour, I got five hours 52, but we are very, very much recovered today, which is very good. Yeah, majority of my sleep was very light. I just felt very, very unsettled because I don't know if I, if I also explained earlier. Not only is Grant cycling to Paris, but Lucy is also currently running from LA to Las Vegas. My mind has just not been able to shut off just like because I know that she's out there running every hour and a half and I also want to know that she's okay that she's doing good because I should be in Spain right now. The plan was always for me to concentrate on cycling. I do still have a longer bike ride to do on my own here which is 
harder for me, a lot harder, because in Spain I've got the cycling lanes. I've got to do four hours minimum. I don't think I've ever cycled even more than two and a half hours here on my own, like twice. <laughs> four hours on my own is a lot for me. I'll be fine. I'm using Lucy and Grant as my inspiration today because they're doing hard things. I'm gonna have some PB&J. Look at this match made in heaven. Shame I don't have any crunchy, I did run out. Sad times, but we keep it moving. Don't know why it looks like I'm getting ready to swim. <laughs> so you guys, this is why I never ever film first thing in the morning, because Grant is not an early bird. He far prefers to stay up until two in the morning, which used to be me. But since um, Iron Man training, I've really, <laughs> Turn that upside down. I try and sleep earlier and then I just wake up earlier. Whereas before I used to go to bed late and then wake up early, it's not ideal. But this is why I never intro my YouTube videos when I wake up because Grant's always asleep. So this is just one more pro to Grant cycling to Paris. But that's it, there's only, that. that is it. There's only two. One that I can eat burritos, two that I can be as energetic as I like at five in the morning. That is literally it, I do want him back. But we're gonna power through today. Today's gonna be a great day. Use this mug that a friend of mine gave me. I want to ride my bicycle. He actually lent me his bike for the first few months and I, I, rode, I rode a Bianchi. Before I got my Specialized, I actually, road a Bianchi. Not all the gears were working, but because I didn't really know how a functioning road bike was meant to work, I didn't realize like how bad it was. It's five degrees right now. Shit. <laughs> I want a hack if you want more or less chocolate, just feel it. Cause you can literally feel how many chunks there are. This one has loads, and this one that I just picked up literally has hardly any. I am the My Protein Snack Queen. <laughs> Do you like how I've got it organized as if like I'm cabin crew? Any snacks or refreshment? Any bars, any gel? Do you know, I'm just gonna do a medley. Although it's five in the morning here, I'm still able to talk to Lucy because she's up all night. So, they're in the RV now for 40 miles. God, it's so crazy. Look at my little Lucy. I'm so proud of Lucy and Grant. They are killing it. Did my other bread just try and escape the plane? No, where are you going, mate? I can't remember the last time I spread smooth peanut butter on toast, because I always have crunchy. It makes spreading the jam harder when the peanut butter melts. I actually feel very nervous about today. Let's see how much I do today. I wanna make myself and I wanna make my coach, Grant, Lucy, I wanna make everyone proud. What distance do you reckon I'm gonna do today? I don't know, I have no idea. So yeah, I woke up at five and it's already 5.40. You tell me what time am I gonna end up leaving? I'm nervous. I have to keep peeing because I'm nervous. And every time I pee, you've got to take the whole bib short off, you know, and then like all the layers. <laughs> so I just feel like I'm never gonna leave. It's 6.45 right now. So it's just as well I got up at five because if I got up at six, I wouldn't have left until like 10. I've got my drinks, I've got some electrolytes in here, I've got some squash, whole selection of bars and things. I'll take my phone, I've got my Garmin. This isn't about vlogging, this is about me getting confidence because I'm actually using the Ironman World Championships. That's the thing, it's like, it's not even imposter syndrome, it's just like, it just makes me laugh that I'm doing the Ironman World Championships in Nice this year and cycling outside on my own makes me want to just like shit myself. You know, it's just like the two don't, shouldn't really sit together taking some of these. And see, now I need to go to the toilet. 
Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. We got this, though. We got this. We're 49 minutes in. So far, so good. Done 21K. However, there is... There's a hill approaching, which I should really and truly be doing because I'm literally gonna have to climb mountains in these and that could be nothing but from here it looks intimidating and I don't know what to expect and I'm on my own <laughs> and there's cars if I can't climb it I literally fall <laughs> I don't have the best bike control so I'll turn around and then come back two hours in I cannot tell you how much I need to pee. I've been needing to pee for about an hour and there's just like nowhere to go. There's literally nowhere to go. I have eyed up every bush, tree, twig, like literally twig at this point. I'm literally thinking to pee behind a lamppost. Like... <sighs> I don't know what to do, honestly. I need to pee. I literally need to take every layer off in order to go. This is the only time where I wish I were a male. Wish me luck. <laughs> so I ended up crossing the road and literally going right there. I mean, I was literally on full display, but nothing else I could do. I'm gonna have a flapjack. By the way, I've had three gels and like one of those like precision carb chews. So yeah, fueling. I just spoke to Grant and he's done 54 no, not 54, I've done 54. He's on 57K, but he's just stopped off for a little bit. And I am gonna carry on going. I don't know whether to keep going down or whether to go the other way. Okay, we're going that way. <laughs> Two hours 48, this is a record. We have hit 96K, three hours, 33 minutes. Everything is okay, minus the fact that I need to pee again really badly. And there's just like nowhere to go. It's, it's so bad because the roads are so busy and there's like cars just passing every second. But it's okay. I'm so, honestly, I'm so proud of myself. If you'd have said to me a couple of months ago that I'd be doing 96K on my own, I literally would have said absolutely no way. I've come such a long way. I used to literally try and picture me cycling on my own in the road. Like I'd try and picture it and, and I just wouldn't even be able to picture it because it was that far away from me being able to do it. She's back. Guys. I'm home. I did it. <sighs> I just cycled 123k. On the road, on my own. I was thinking back to the times when I, like, when I first started. I won't even use the word bad, I'll use the word clueless. <sighs> Bless me. For the longest time, I cycled without even understanding how gears work. Like, I'd have to ask Grant what button to press. Button. Like, it's a bike and those are gears. And I would ask him, do I, do I press the left button? Do I press the right button? I won't bore you all, but I'm really, really proud of myself. I hope Lucy's doing okay. We did it. We did the damn thing. <laughs> She's a cyclist. <laughs> Wrap number two, because I forgot to film. Jeez. Lashings of avocado, loads of this. This won't close again. Neither did the previous wrap. Sweet chili jam. Not at all. Every time, I just never learn. Like, I never learn. Okay, we're rolling with it. That is so, so good. Gets better every single time. <laughs> this is a monster. Wow. Fully caught up now. With Lucy, with Grant. 
and everyone sorry guys my camera did die and i can't remember what i was saying i decided to cook more rice and make um a rice bowl pb and j the rest of today is just gonna consist of refueling i may catch you guys tomorrow 6.22 good morning guys i've been up since five again I've got like the most annoyingly effective body clock. It's the morning after yesterday's crazy feet. I mean, all I did yesterday was eat. And now I've got to do some washing up. Don't know if this is embarrassing to show. These are all the plates that I accumulated just yesterday. The hunger was real. Packet of blueberries, packet of M&Ms, balance. We're back to the foodie content. I don't know why I say that as if, like, 92% of my videos aren't foodie videos. There is some protein powder in my oats. Unfortunately, the white gold, we've run out. So this, there's actually salted caramel in there. It's just evidently lacking one final component. Trusty peanut butter. That is a bowl of pure beauty. I've got a fuel up because today I may not have a long bike ride to do. I do have an optional one hour like recovery ride. Today I actually have a very long run, 35k. Mm, I think I need more peanut butter. As of right now, the London Marathon is in three weeks. And so I need to get a little bit more mileage in. By the way, I do wanna just say something quite important actually. If you're training for a marathon that's coming up and you're thinking that three weeks out you need to be doing a long run of 35k, which is what I'm doing today, um, you don't. Please bear in mind, I'm training for an Ironman. So my main objective isn't the London Marathon. Of course, I want to do better than last year. And I actually do feel like I'm in a better place because last year, the only long run I did ahead of the London Marathon was 11 days out from it, which was like really cutting it very fine. But as I said, Ironman training takes priority. And then the London Marathon is just like, it's a long training run, but also a lot of fun. With that said, my legs feel absolutely fine. The training all in all is going extremely well because this time last year, I would not be cycling 124K alone and then feeling okay the next day. It just baffles my mind how much our bodies can adapt and how well they can cope with volume. It's really nice to see that it's paying off. That is my plan today. I slept better than the night before. I got seven and a half hours, which is the most I've had all week. This is my sleep performance the past week. By the way, the app that I use for all of this is, is Whoop, which as you can see, I finally changed my Whoop band. Um, I know it fully clashes with my Iron Man band, but I think I will take this off in approximately, in approximately 41 days, I will take off my Iron Man band because I'll be doing Ironman 70.3 Mallorca, which is in 41 days, can you believe it? Like, literally, ah, one month and 11 days. Okay, okay, that's really creeping up. I haven't been in a wetsuit since the Ironman. I don't know if I actually will practice open water before then. <laughs> that's such a coincidence, just as I was talking about Whoop. Grant has sent me his whoop stats because he also has a whoop. He is currently in the 1% club, but this is his final day. Final day today, so I don't know. Unless I keep this video running, I will be able to see Grant when he gets back. But I'll probably stop talking because otherwise this video is going to be way too long. So see you guys in a bit. The very first thing I've done is run a bath because super windy i mean i'm glad it's not raining one positive is that my mum has messaged me and told me that it has not stopped pouring in spain so although i'm sad that i'm obviously missing out on the plans that we had made i'm not mad about the fact that i would have had to train in the pouring rain i'm cold i cannot wait for summer very last minute change of plan 
as soon as I got in the bath, I spoke to my dad and my brother. I'm actually gonna go around to my dad's to have a roast. I think he said roast lamb. So I am actually gonna have a bit of a Easter Sunday, it appears. By the way, happy belated Easter, because I don't know what, when this video is going up, but mm mm, flapped up. I need to get ready. I don't have much time, but I will cue the food because I'm sure you'd want to know what's being had. Our takeaway is currently cooking. <laughs> takeaway is coming real quick. Good, because we're hungry. <laughs> A Thai takeaway has been placed. I think the last you saw of me was Sunday evening. Had a really nice roast lamb. We enjoyed some Easter eggs because obviously Easter Sunday, but you know, I'm Nutty Foodie Fitness and I don't go by the rules. So even though it's now Tuesday, we do have more Easter eggs, <laughs> courtesy of Grant's mum, because she always hooks us up. So I've got the Reese's peanut butter egg. Grant got the Aero. I definitely got a better one here. Because not only do you get the Reese's egg, which is gonna go immediately into the freezer, but you also get three Reese's peanut butter cream eggs. I said to Grant, like, let's go out for dinner, but he is kind of a little shattered, and so we thought, takeaway sounds great. That really didn't take long at all, did it? I feel heavy, that is. <laughs> Slow cooked beef masaman curry times two. Yep. Sticky rice. Times two. Times two. Prawn toast. Duck spring rolls. And um, we, we, we have... We, we, we. I'm actually, we are having said takeaway as a little treat for Grant because he managed to cycle all the way to Paris and is back in one piece. I survived. I did it. Thank you, you did very it. much. How, how was it? Explain your experience in three words. Unreal, tiring, fulfilling. Spam away in the comments. Congratulations to Grant. I had a bit of an issue on night one. I didn't get any sleep. But other than that. And you got puncture. Yeah, but puncture, like, you've got to expect to get a puncture. We did it, and I still loved it every minute. They all know that I'm already very proud of you, so. Yeah, thank you. Let's eat. Let's eat. Look at this. Honestly, this Masaman curry is so, so good. We've had it before, and it was just absolutely amazing. Yes. Thai was absolutely incredible. Splendiferous. Splendiferous. Grant's about to crack this with his head, but he won't, I won't show that on camera. I get demonetized because it's so violent. <laughs> Look at the dent Grant has made in that. Is your forehead okay? Who was more affected? Oh, yeah, definitely the egg. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's how I've been opening these strokes since I was six years old. I know, it's actually hilarious. What? Standard. Chocolate. What did you think it was going to be? Peanut buttery infused. Nah, you've set your expectations too high. I have this every year and still, why did I think that? Guys, thanks for watching this video. I know we didn't end up going to Spain, but it is what it is. Comment Paris. If you made it this far in the video. Yes. And stay nutty, my friends. Bye.